Hey you guys, welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga. Finn is just off camera. Oh, oh look at that. And then there's Lenny. So the whole crew is here and this guy's excited. Are you so excited? Oh buddy. Oh boy, he is, what's it? He's a like get in your face kind of smelling dog. Like that's how he greets me every single day. I love it. However, when strangers come to visit, they're like, is he gonna bite me? He is the sweetest dog on the planet, you guys. And then there's Lenny, and they're both just extra lovable today. So, that's so good. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys are ready for some yoga. So if you are, make sure your mat is all set up. Come on down to the floor, get yourself nice and comfortable. Have a drink of water. You knew I was gonna say something. And let's get into it. He literally was just like massaging my knee. What a little cutie. You got your watches. You can go ahead and set them. So that way you know exactly how long we're going to be here. I'm not 100% sure how long we're going to be here. It could be 30 minutes. It could be 40 minutes like we're used to. So I hope you are in for the ride and uh, are willing to commit to the session the whole time with me. If not... You can always catch it on the replay, whether it's in the group or uh, on YouTube. And you're, if you're on YouTube right now, bring in subscribe and do the things you should do. Because it's helpful for me. I love it. Alright you guys, officially we can begin. So come on down, get into a nice comfortable seat. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. In through the spine. Loop those shoulders back and down. And just get your hands nice and comfortable in your lap. You can keep your fingers down onto your knees. Or you can even come up into one of our mudras, playing around with which thumb to finger connection feels right for you. They all do something different energetically within the body, and I'm not even going to go into all that woo-woo stuff. So find whichever one feels comfortable for you, one you think you need right now. Your body will be able to tell you and ignore these two. Holy cow. Go ahead and close your eyes. Bring a big smile onto your face. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more just like that. In. And out. Great. Just let that breath come in and out through the nose. In a nice, normal rhythm. Just like what Finn's doing now. Again, just begin to bring your awareness completely into your breath, trying to let those thoughts simmer down. Helping you feel a little more grounded into your mat. Noticing what's going on in the body and just begin releasing that tension. want you to start scanning through your entire body from the top of your head all the way down to your toes and just pay attention to what you notice whether it feels good or not so good don't spend any extra energy in those locations just acknowledge them and move on and I'll take a few breaths as you scan through your body It's always important to just take these moments, even if it's five to ten breaths, to just be still, be present, and acknowledge what's going on within yourself. And an important topic that I really want to talk about today, and we won't spend too much time here, so I want you to focus on your breathing as I talk you through a kind of slight meditation. And I want you to just think of the term boundaries, right? This is something that is 
come into my world quite a lot within the last week or two and I've proven consistent at least with the boundaries that I've needed to set and with practice it becomes a lot easier to set boundaries especially when they're with really close people that you love and you care for it doesn't make the easiest conversation right so what I need you guys to know is boundaries are important it is important to be able to put yourself first to believe in yourself to have self self-worth right and so often we allow us to just settle back and just accept what's going on around you, whether it's with friends, with family, your career, whatever it may be. And sometimes we get lost in that. And I think it's really important for you to truly know who you are, what you want with your life, and where you plan on going within that future. And to set those big boundaries as needed, you know? So don't be scared to do it at all. It will be maybe a little uncomfortable the first time. Hey, you do. Might be a little uncomfortable the first time you do have to set a really firm boundary, especially if it's you know with a close friend, with a family member. It's it's really never an easy conversation, but ultimately it is 100% the best thing that you can do. You know, so when you set boundaries, you just need to make sure that you're doing it out of a way to support your own well-being and also be still supportive of whoever you're setting that boundary with and not setting it in a confrontational you said he he said she said that's really hard to say fast kind of way right we we do it in a way that is coming from the heart making sure that you are putting yourself first which again is really difficult but when you speak your truth over and over and over and you begin to believe it and set those boundaries, the people that are going to be in your life and be supportive of you, entirely of you, they're going to be there and they're going to understand it and they're going to respect all of the boundaries that you had placed, right? So it's difficult, but I'm telling you, the more you practice it, the more you will feel so much better within your life with every single aspect from friends, family, your career, whatever it may be, all because you set those boundaries that you know are important for yourself. So I will leave you with that. We will all take one giant inhale in and an exhale, let it go. Great job. Give your upper body a little wiggle. Get yourself moving. You can ignore my hair today. It's like straight out of the shower hair. So it's going to probably floof up throughout the next 40 minutes. <laughs> Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. Take a big inhale. Sweep those arms all the way up and overhead. Really turn your thumbs towards that back wall and almost angling them towards the side walls. Look up. Exhale. Float your arms right on down to your sides. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am surrounded. Inhale. Lift your arms all the way up. Exhale, let him go. Inhale. Exhale. Oh my gosh, the look on Lenny's face. I can tell he just wants to murder this hand. Let's hope he doesn't attack me. Keep it going. Connect that breath to your movement. And with this next one, inhale. Keep those arms lifted all the way up. Interlace your fingers. Spiral your palms towards the ceiling. Big stretch again. And as you exhale, we're going to release our hands to the base of our neck. Open your elbows nice and wide. Lift your chest. Look up. And as you exhale, we're going to pull our upper back towards the back wall. Tuck your chin into your chest and just allow your elbows to fall forward. No pulling here. Just let gravity do the work. Roll your tailbone up towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen through that spine, sitting up nice and tall. Open your elbows nice and wide again. Look up. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. One more in. And exhale. I want you to hold it in that rounding. We're going to stay here for three breaths. Release your shoulders down. 
focus on that breath and then allow gravity to do its work. Great, go ahead and release your arms. Sit up nice and tall and bring those arms right at your sides. Again, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big inhale in and exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, release just that left forearm down. Angle your fingers towards the edge of your mat. Get a slight bend to the left. Turn your chest towards the ceiling. Turn that thumb towards the back wall. Focus on your breath here, inhaling in. And as you exhale, you can try to sink a little lower in that left arm. Maybe you inch your fingers out wider, but just find your limit. Don't go beyond it. Don't overstress, over push, right? We don't need to injure ourselves. And just focus on that breath. Inhale, exhale, keep it going. One more. Great, with that next inhale, lift both of those arms all the way back up, big stretch. Exhale, release the right arm down this time. Lean into that right side, turn your chest towards the ceiling, turn that thumb towards the wall behind you, and see if you can inch down onto your forearm a little bit more. Really focus that breath into your side body, really feeling that expansion there. One side might be tighter than the other, and that's okay. Focus on the inhale, expanding your lungs. Exhale, let it go. One more, in and out. Inhale, all the way back up, both arms up and overhead, look up. Exhale, bring your palms together, release them forward, straight out in front of your chest, pointing your fingers at me and sending me all of your loving energy. I'll give you some back. Sometimes I'm like, because <laughs> apparently that's what energy sounds like to me. <laughs> Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, glide that right arm across your body, opening it up to the wall behind you. And if you're lucky like me, you have this little cabinet, you can just hook your arm onto and just feel that added little resistance. Look over that right shoulder. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Breathe. One more breath here, in. And as you exhale, release that right arm forward. Take a big inhale. Exhale, release that left arm back this time. Look over your left shoulder, sit up nice and tall and focus on that breath. Inhale, exhale. And stay here for two more breaths. <clears throat> Last one. Great, bring it forward and then release your hands right onto your knees here. Take a big inhale, send your chest forward, bend at your elbows, look up. Don't crank your head all the way back though. Inhale, exhale, pull your back towards that back wall, tuck your chin into your chest, roll that tailbone up towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen, come forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, and exhale. You might need to do three more with your own breath. Last one. Great. Sit up nice and tall. Give your body a little shimmy shake and then come on to all fours. Trying to navigate around all of your pets if you're like me right now. They are crazy. All right, wrists right under your shoulders, fingertips spread nice and wide, bring your knees right under your hips. You can curl your toes under if you would like, just make sure you have a nice flat back here. Take a big inhale in and out, engage your abs. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your hips to the sky and look forward. Don't crank your head all the way back though. Exhale, pull your belly all the way up towards the sky, tuck your chin into your chest, tuck that tailbone under. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going. We'll do three more. Two to go. Last one. Hmm. 
and come back into that neutral tabletop position. Go ahead and flatten the tops of your feet down if they're not already. Oh my goodness, these two. Take a big inhale and sweep that right arm out in front of you. Find your balance here. Really spread those left fingers nice and wide. And when you're ready, really plant that right foot into the mat and lift that left leg. Try to get your arm and leg parallel to the ground without arching in that low back. Take a big inhale in. Exhale. Inhale. See if you can lift a little higher. Exhale. Connect elbow to the knee as you arch in that back. Slow and control. You don't want to lose your balance. And then inhale. Extend it all the way out. Exhale. Pull it in. Inhale. Lengthen. Again, don't arch in that low back. We want to keep that low back nice and engaged. Exhale. <laughs> you guys, today, this is too much. Keep it going. We'll do two more at your own pace. I'm going to have to kick these two out of yoga today. Last one. And then go ahead and plant that elbow. Plant that hand. Nice that elbow? I totally meant knee. Oh, you guys, it's a morning. Inhale, sweep your left fingertips forward, ground through that left foot, and when you're ready, send your right toes back. Really extend through your toes, extend through your fingers here. Are you guys witnessing this right now? Whew. Take a big inhale and press away from the floor with that right arm. And exhale, slowly controlled. Connect, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, connect. Keep your core engaged. Try not to overextend your leg. No arching in that low back. Keep it going. Connecting to your breath. We'll do two more. Last one. Great, go ahead and plant your hands, plant that knee. I want you to open your knees as wide as your mat, bring your big toes into touch, and I want you to bring that right hand underneath of your nose. Take a big inhale and tuck that tailbone under, and then open up that left arm to the sky. Turn your thumb towards the wall behind you so we can really start to engage those muscles instead of just causing compression. Focus on your breath, inhale and exhale. You can always drop that arm down if you have any shoulder sensitivity at all. And just continue pulling that shoulder towards the back wall. Keep your tailbone tucked under. Keep your abs engaged. I know I'm bossy. But I promise it's only going to benefit you. Focus on that breath. Big inhale. Exhale. Really feel that air opening up the left side body. And with your next exhale, I want you to tap that left hand down to the right. Inhale, open it back up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Down and up. Great job. This time we're going to plant that left hand all the way down, swapping our hands, and then inhale, open up that right arm, holding it at the top, turning that thumb to the back wall and just focusing on that breath. Tuck your tailbone under, engage your core. And you can play around with where you want your gaze to be. Maybe you're looking up or out to the side or down to the mat. Find what's comfortable for your neck here. You don't wanna do anything that's gonna cause you any extra sensitivity, any pain, any discomfort. Always find what feels good within your body. One more big inhale. And as you exhale, tap it down. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. Inhale. Exhale. One more. In. And as you exhale, tap it down. Great job. Open up your feet and send your hips towards your heels. Bring your arms out in front of you and relax your forehead all the way down to the mat. Coming into our child's pose. Close your eyes and just focus on that breath. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, release it through the mouth. Inhale. 
exhale. One more, just like that. In and out. Great job. Just let that breath come in and out through the nose. And bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With that next inhale, why don't you just lift your head, chin, and chest away from the mat. We're going to walk our arms over to the left side of the mat. Start to sink that right hip towards the right corner of your mat. You can keep your head lifted or you can release it down. You should feel that stretch in the entire right side of your body going all the way towards that hip. Nice stretch through the arm, through the shoulder, through your lats. This is one of my favorites. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, I want you to send yourself to the opposite side of your mat. And again, sink that left hip all the way down. Finn, you're not supposed to move. <laughs> I'm lady. Focus on your breath. Really focus on anchoring that left hip all the way back. Oh, you guys, this will be a fun replay. Focus on your breath. Inhaling in and out. <laughs> With that next inhale, lock your hands back to center. Push yourself all the way back. Pull your knees in and sit up nice and tall. <laughs> Take a big inhale in and out. With your next inhale, send your body weight forward. Curl your toes under <laughs> and lift your hips all the way up to the sky, coming into your downward facing dog. But don't be like Finn, taking over the entire mat. Oh my goodness. Take a big inhale in and out. And again, it's always okay if your knees are slightly bent or if your heels are lifted. I'd rather you really work on opening up your fingers, pressing into the index finger knuckle and turning those biceps towards that wall in front of you as you sink your chest towards your thighs. In time, you'll gain that extension in the muscles in your legs, but for now, I'd rather you really make sure that your upper body is in the correct posture so you're not causing any extra compression. Focus on that breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to bend your knees, look forward, step or walk almost to the front of your mat, unless you've got a pet there blocking you, and come into that forward fold. Release your upper body over your lower body. Get a nice big bend here. And just focus on that breath, really visualizing your lower back opening up, inhaling in and out. With that next inhale, glide your hands all the way up to your thighs, lengthen through your legs, lengthen through that upper body like you're the figure seven. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, forward fold again. Inhale, lengthen. Bring your hands to your shins this time. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands all the way to the back sides of your ankles. Extend your elbows left and right as you Feel yourself drawing towards the floor a little bit more. Tuck your chin into your chest and just focus on that breath. It might be a little tighter to breathe right now as that belly is pressing into your thighs. So really focus on expanding your diaphragm on the back side of your body. Inhale, lengthen, halfway left. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. With that next inhale, I want you to draw a big circle with your arms as you stand all the way up. Give me a slight back bend at the top. 
and then exhale, bring your hands to your heart, take a breath there. Great job, go ahead and turn to the center of your mat. Now that he's finally off mine, I think I can actually do some poses. Go ahead and open your legs as wide as you possibly can, or whatever is comfortable to you. Don't eat your hair in the process. Point your toes to the front wall and take a big inhale. Sweep those arms all the way up, look up. Exhale, sink your hips towards the wall behind you and start to lower that chest, keeping your arms parallel to your ears and then sink it all the way down into a wide-legged standing forward fold. Press your fingertips into the ground, inhale, lengthen, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, holding it at the top. Bring your right fingertips underneath of your nose and open that right arm all the way up. You might feel an extra lengthening in that left leg. You can always sink your weight into the right leg to feel that stretch even deeper. Find what's comfortable for you here. Take one big inhale and exhale. Release that right arm down and open that left arm all the way up. Again, playing around with how you'd like your legs to be positioned. This is how they play, you guys. You guys are uh, getting the best life today. Yeah. Okay, get out of here, boys. Take a big inhale, bring that arm down, and forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands onto your hips, bend your knees, and slow and controlled, roll all the way up to standing. I hope they are as much of entertaining for you as they are for me. Whew. Take a big inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale. Turn your body so your toes are facing the right. Come on to the ball of that back heel. Arms still lifted. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, sink into that front knee, bending it so you're at about a 90 degree angle. You might have to inch those toes out forward. Really lift in that chest. Turn your thumbs to the back wall and slightly towards the side walls. Take a big inhale and exhale. Bring your hands down onto your hips, inhaling in, opening your chest here, and slow and controlled. Inhale, exhale. We're going to dip that left knee all the way down or as far as you can go without feeling any pain. Inhale, lengthen, press it back up. Pull your knees in towards the center line. Keep your hips to the front wall. Inhale, exhale, dip it down. Inhale. Exhale, slow and controlled, <clears throat> keeping your balance. Keep that chest lifted here. Pull your shoulders towards the back wall and just find something to hold your gaze so you don't fall. One more, all the way up. Exhale, sink it down. Really plant your knee down, uncurl that back toe. Go ahead and sink your weight forward just slightly, taking the pressure out of your knee. Inhale, lift those arms all the way up. Exhale, plant that left arm down. Open that right arm up. Focus on your breath. Big inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, release that right arm down. Send your hips to your heel. Curl through your front toes. And we'll get a nice runner's lunge stretch here. You can play around with a bend in that front leg more or less depending on what your body is capable of doing and just tuck your chin right into your chest one more breath here inhale and exhale inhale roll through that front foot curl your back toes under lift that knee away from the floor and step your left foot up to meet your right we'll come into our forward fold Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're going to hang out here for several breaths. So again, you can have a nice big bend in your legs if you'd like. You can clap, clap, clasp. <laughs> opposite hand to opposite elbow. It's tucking that chin into your chest. Maybe you want to find a sway side to side. And as you do this, Bring a smile onto your lips, and I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. <sighs> mm. 
Inhale, release those arms. Glide all the way up into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up to standing. Palms together and exhale, bring them to your heart. Take a breath there, in and out. Great, turn to the center of your mat. Open your feet nice and wide again. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, start to sink your hips first. Bending at that hip joint and slowly coming into that halfway lift and then forward fold. Push those fingertips into the floor. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands right onto your hips. Bend those knees, slow and control. Come all the way up to standing. Extend those arms up and overhead and turn yourself to the left side of your mat. Come onto the ball of that back foot. Inhaling in. And as you exhale, sink your weight down. Maybe you inch that back foot farther behind you or step the front foot a little farther forward. Inhale, exhale, sink that right knee down this time as far as you can go without any discomfort. Lift in your chest, come all the way back up. Exhale, sink it down. Inhale, exhale, in, out. We'll do two more. Last one, all the way up. Exhale, sink it down, slow and controlled. Bring that knee all the way down, nice and gentle. Uncurl your back toes, take a big inhale, push that body weight forward, take the pressure out of your knee. Exhale, release that right arm down this time. Open that left shoulder up to the sky, chest lifting towards your ceiling. Inhaling in and out. Really pull that left knee in towards the center line. You don't wanna let it flare out. One more big breath in. Exhale, release that left arm down. Send your hips to your heels. Flex your front toes in towards your nose and play around with that bend in that front knee. Tuck your chin into your chest. And just breathe. Big inhale. Big exhale. And with your next inhale, roll through your front foot. Curl your back toes under, lift that knee away from the floor, and step your right foot up to meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms. Step one foot back, and then the other. Scoot your cat as needed. Shift yourself into plank, keeping your shoulders right over your wrists. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, I want you to point your fingers just slightly towards the edge of your mat. Keep your elbows in your side as you slowly lower your belly all the way down. Inhale, press into your arms. Come into that upward dog. And exhale, open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes into touch. Send your hips to your heels. Coming into that child's pose. Release your forehead all the way down. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And out. Inhaling in. And out. One more big breath in. Exhale, let it go. And just bring that breath to a nice normal rhythm in and out through your nose. Bring a big smile onto your lips, if it's not already there, from those two playing. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. next inhale I want you to walk your elbows a little closer to your head bring your palms together out in front 
And when you're ready, just lift your palms, bringing them towards the top back of your head, feeling a nice stretch through your triceps here. If it's not comfortable at all, you can keep your arms down onto the ground. And again, just focus on that breath, inhaling in and out. And take two more breaths here. Great, go ahead and release your arms down, bring your hands back towards your shoulders and lift your upper body away from the floor. Sending your hips back towards your heels. Pull your knees into that center leg. Sit up nice and tall here. Keep your hands right on your thighs. Sit up nice and tall. Loop your shoulders back and down your spine. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Shift your body weight forward. Curl your toes under. And slow and controlled, sink your weight back into your heels. If this is too much pressure in your feet, just lift your hips just slightly to take that pressure out. Inhaling in and out. Glide your chin towards that back wall just slightly. Tuck your tailbone under, getting some length through your spine. One more breath here, in. And as you exhale, send your feet to one side, bring your bottom all the way down to the floor and extend your legs out in front. Flex your toes towards your nose and roll your knees slightly in towards one another. Plant your palms at your hips, sit up nice and tall, take a breath in, out, inhale, lift those arms all the way up. And as you exhale, fold over your legs, catching wherever you can. Maybe it's your shins, your ankles. In time, you'll be able to grab the bottoms of your feet. And just allow your head to release down and forward, feeling yourself sinking into this pose. You can have you a bend in your knees ever so slightly if that's a little more comfortable for you. If you have any tension in that low back. Just focus on that breath. Inhale, exhale, chest comes forward, sinking into that pose a little bit more. One more breath here, in and out. Inhale, release those hands, roll up through your upper body. And I want you to plant the bottoms of your feet down onto the mat. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, lengthen your arms forward, palms open to the sky. And as you exhale, sink yourself back, engage your abs. Inhale, turn your palms towards one another and lift those arms until you can really feel that tension in your abs. Exhale, release them down, come forward. Inhale, sink it back, palms together, lift. Exhale, sink them forward. Inhale. Keep going with your breath. We'll do three more. Really engage your core. One to go. Holding it at the top this time. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, slow and controlled, release your upper body all the way to the floor. Extend those arms overhead, lengthen through your legs here, get a big stretch. And as you exhale, pull your knees into your chest, catch them with your hands, and give them a little tug, getting a nice little massage through that lower body. And just come into stillness, holding it here, close your eyes, take a big inhale in. And now, go ahead and spiral through your ankles, first one way, and then the other. And one more big inhale. And as you exhale, release one leg, and then the other. Allow your arms to fall open, palms open to the sky. Close your eyes if they aren't already. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. And we've made it, you guys, our final pose, Savasana. Our time to be still, be present, 
and just breathe. With your next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, bat your eyelashes open and closed. And when you're ready, roll on your side facing me. Use your arm as a pillow. And we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in and out. And with that next inhale, press yourself away from the floor. Come on into a comfortable cross legged position. Sitting up nice and tall, hands in your lap, eyes closed. Take a big inhale in through the nose and out. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead, inhaling in and out. Be present. Bring your hands down to your lips, inhaling in and out. Just breathe. Bring your hands down to your heart. Take a big inhale and exhale. Be still. Take one more big inhale. And as you exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me here in this uh, digital world that was extremely uh, entertaining maybe hopefully not too much of a distraction with the crazy pets going around and hopefully you guys just enjoyed it if anything i hope it made you laugh so with that you guys uh be awesome humans stay healthy stay happy and i will see you guys all again very soon bye